Study reggae, play the blues, the blues. DJ John. Make you do that side. Where's up, my baby daddies? And welcome back to my channel. Because I don't know how to rock in this hair. Bitch. Oh, bitch. Because <laughs> I'm a hot mess in this hair. I don't hype up hair that much. Like, I give you guys the real tea. I try to keep it as civil as possible, but this hair right here, got me in my feelings. Kiki, do you love me? I'm not supposed to be talking about this hair in this video. Like, I was not paid to do this, but um, I was given this hair to do a review, and the review is coming. I've only been wearing it for like two weeks by now, but I'm obsessed. Like, wearing it straight, wearing it curly, like curly like this, because it's straight hair. It's just popping. It don't give me no issues. I ain't had hair like this in a minute. Like, not one piece of issue. I used to think it was me. I was like, how come all the hairs get tangled in the back and stuff? Like, this shit is irritating. I must have some Super Saiyan sweat <laughs> or some shit. But this hair don't do that. So, I know it's not me. I know it's not me no more. Because this hair done proved the, proved the test of time. And you know the best part? It's owned by a black woman. And y'all know I love to shout out my black ladies. Even though the company is called Mixed Chick Hair. <laughs> this is not Mixed Chick Hair. I want to say it's Indian. Um, I can't remember exactly because this isn't the review for the hair. But the review is going to be coming in a couple of months. You guys know how I do my reviews. I don't do them right away. So, Or just search Mixed Chick Hair because I'm already giving it a stamp. I like it. I like it. But it hasn't um, held up for the test of time, but I already know it will. But you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna do what I gotta do for you. We got a haul from Payless. Usually I go for 12. If the shoes don't fit inside 12, I go up to 13. If they have 12 and a half, I stick around 12 and a half. In Torrid, I wear a size 11 or 12. So you know, it's just kind of like that. But for the most part, I'm a size 12. During Christmas time, I was telling y'all on my Snapchat and on my Instagram because that's where I be telling y'all about the frugal finds because I'm still frugal finds, okay? You need to follow me on my social medias though if you want to get the pointers. I was telling you guys that Payless was having some type of stupid ass sale where they was trying to get rid of shoes and I hope Payless is not going out of business or something. I love Payless because they carry my shoe size and so girls with big feet, um, yeah, shop at Payless. Uh, a lot of people keep asking me where I get my shoes. Payless, Nordstrom Rack, Torrid and Amazon. That's pretty much where I get all my shoes, like all of them. Every now and then I'll find like a cute pair at like Ross or something like that. Those shoes don't normally last long. Unless they're tennies. Yeah, tennies, like, you can get tennis shoes anywhere, but were these cute ass shoes that I got? Oh my God. I'm excited to show y'all. I've been talking too much already, so we're just gonna go ahead and get into it. I'm gonna tell you guys the prices. I'm gonna show you guys the shoe. I'm gonna put myself rocking the shoes right next to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and scoot over. Bitch, this hair thong. I got 12 pairs of shoes and my total was $233 that include taxes and shipping and all of that. Oh, I guess shipping was free. So that was part of the whole deal. And then everything was about 40% off. So 12 pairs of shoes for 200 something dollars. Partner, let me upgrade you. I'm gonna go and order from the receipt that they gave me online. So I'm gonna start with these boots. Way, way. Look at these sparkly little booties. OMG. I got these in a size 13 because I feel like these boots, because of the pointy toe, sometimes they run a little small. And also, obviously it's a boot, so you wanna wear a sock with it, so your feet don't be funky. It's just such a cute boot. I got it because I thought I was gonna wear it for New Year's, New Year's past, and I hadn't even done this review yet. So I was like, whatever, I'm still gonna rock it at some point. I plan on going to France in a little while, so I'm definitely taking these with me because I'm gonna take a picture when my Eiffel Tower is sparkling and my sparkling ass boots. I'm too hype. I can't say much. It's just a cute little booty. It has a pointed toe. Perfectly made. This is by the Brash brand. The original price was $49.99. And I got them for $15. <laughs> the next pair of shoes that I got, I was like, now wait a second now. <laughs> I was like, hold up now. Damn, I've already worn these. I actually wore these on New Year because it was super cold and I had to walk from my hotel to the concert that I was going to. So I just put on these boots so I wouldn't be too cold because I had a little dress, you know? And it's just these high over the knee boots, perfectly made. I scuffed them up a little bit as you can see right there. I told them up, okay? New Year boots right here, all the way up to my knee and they don't slouch. I'm like, who made these? <laughs> it was Brash also that made these boots. They 
like you know how when you get boots like these especially if you have thick thighs they just start slouching because they don't want to stay up on your leg these did not slouch not once they didn't slouch at all I was just like word I had to come up on these I don't know if they still have them I'm gonna try to get this video up as soon as possible but I got these in a size 13 as well because like I said with boots you want to be comfortable because you have to wear socks they just pop in like they're the perfect heel length I walked two miles in these boots two whole miles okay my feet was dying after I still kind of have a bruise on my toe from it but I've never walked that far in any pair of heels before so these they got a recommendation from me. You go to get these if they still got more, okay? Yes, girl. Yes. Let me scoot over so y'all could see me wearing them. You feel me? Ah! Popping. I want to say originally they were like $69.99. They were super expensive, but they were on sale for $35.99. So I got those boots for $36. Okay, for some boots like that. How many times are you gonna find some boots like that for that price? I was super lit. And I'm sure they're gonna be way cheaper now because whenever it starts getting closer to the end of winter, or the end of summer, they start getting rid of inventory. So make sure you're looking at this website, okay? Pay less don't know. Pay less don't know. You need to hit me up because I got your back, okay? The next pair of shoes that I got are these blue like sneakers and I've worn these a lot as well, as you can see. I've worn about three pairs of these shoes already. So just know that the dirt and stuff is because I couldn't wait. Look at the beautiful color of these shoes. These with some jeans popping. These just remind me of the Steve Maddens. And um, I was just like, okay, that's cool. These are really cute. I like the color and they were 15 bucks. So I was like, why not? These are also by Brash. Brash is stepping their game up because there was probably like a two year drought on Payless. Payless did not have good shoes for about two years. Same thing with Torrid. I don't know if they have the same people making their crusty ass shoes, but they're finally coming back into the game. So I'm down with that. I like that. And they're finally looking at trends and stuff and paying attention to what people like. I got these in a size 12 because sneakers normally run the right size with Payless. I don't have the original price because I've already worn them, but they was $15. The next pair of shoes that I got are these minimalist black sandals. They're just regular minimalist. I have so many of these. I don't even know why I bought them. I think I bought them because on the site it was saying $15, but looking at the receipt now, it's saying $20.99. So I'm a little pissed that I bought these. I got them in a size 12 and these are, I want to say they're by Martha Stewart or something because it says Martha every day. And I remember seeing Martha Stewart on the website. So they were $34.99 and I paid $20.99 for them. <laughs> these are so ugly. The next pair of shoes I got are these. And when I first saw them, I was like, ew. But then I was like, these might be super cute on. And indeed they are. Okay. They're so cute on. I don't know how I'm going to wear them, but I feel like they would be nice and warm, like good airport shoes type thing. These are so cute on. Looking at them like this is like, girl, why, why did you buy those? <laughs> These shoes were $34.99 and I got them in a size 12 and I paid $20.99 for these ones. I don't know, I just like them. They're super comfy. They're nice and stretchy at the ankle. So it's just like, I don't know. I'd never seen any shoes like these. So I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna get them and I'm gonna see how I can rock them. Cause like I told you guys in my fashion hauls, I'm trying to step my fashion game up. You know what I'm saying? I'm starting to get a whole bunch of new clothes and I need to get the shoes that I can rock with. I need to, you know, be able to have a pick and choice. A lot of the shoes that I have, I had to get them because um, you know, I don't see my size a lot. So I was just like, I have to get these shoes in, in order for me to have uh, a selection. But now I'm like, dang, now people are starting to give a hell about us Bigfoot girls. So now I get to try all the shoes that are different because that's what I like, different things, you know. Okay, so the next pair of shoes that I got are these People Are People shoes. And I don't know why I like these when I saw them. I want to say it's because of the, of the soles. It says Christian Serrano on it. And you guys know Christian Serrano is one of their new designers. He's not new anymore. He's been there for a minute. But he was one of their newer um, designers that started designing shoes for them. And um, he's from Fit'em. And I really wanted to go to Fit'em. He graduated from Fit'em, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. He was on Project Runway. And he makes really good shoes. He was the one who actually started making cute shoes for um, Payless. So when I saw these shoes, I was just like, oh, those look so dope. They remind me of the ones that, I don't know what shoes they are that they remind me of, but they literally have this type of writing on the sole as well. And I was like, oh, those are dope. I need those. And they just say people are people on the front. Originally, they were $34.99. I got them in a size 12. And I paid $20.99 for these ones. A nice, cute little sneaks that I could wear with like some leggings and an oversized shirt or something like that. So I like these. Next pair of shoes I got 
are these shoes and they're just regular black little minimalist sandals like I tell you I have so many of these shoes I don't know why I keep buying these but I was just like what I want to say that these ones were $15 on the website too and then after I checked out and I looked at my receipt then it said $20 and I was like I know those didn't say that on the website but you know I was just like whatever they're only 20 bucks still even if they were 12 or 15 it doesn't matter like I wasn't really tripping like that but uh, they were originally $34.99 got them in a size 12 and they're just super cute nice easy shoes that you can wear with anything literally anything and they have that chunky heel for support these might be my favorite find these little cute like booties I don't know what to call these type of booties but they have that ankle that stretch as well who made these these ones were made by Br brash stepping your game all the way up i don't know who brash who develops brash shoes you know what i mean christian serrano that's his name so i know it's him but brash i don't know who makes these shoes it's just a company called brash i guess but look at these beautiful boots they got the chunky heel super cute i just love them they're originally 49.99 but i got them for 29.99 i got them in a size 13 again because they're boots and i want to be able to wear socks and girl come on i mean I hate to come up. I hate to come up. The next pair of shoes I got are Balenciaga. <laughs> They're fake Balenciagas, y'all. I just was like, word, y'all go through fake lagas on there. I was lit. I got these in a size 12 and they're actually a little bit big on me. They were originally $34.99 and then I went ahead and paid $20.99 for these. So that was a good little discount and I'm just happy because they're so fake. I just love how fake they are because you know, when you're the right person, you can pull off anything and I'm about to be walking these streets. People gonna be like, oh, she got money. Pero it's from Peles. Shoes. The next pair of shoes I got are these pink sandals and in my last Payless haul I got some black ones just like this and I want to say I paid $10 for the black ones um, and I didn't I just love the black ones okay I just love them so much I've worn the hell out of them I haven't even done the try on portion for that shoe haul so I've worn the hell out of those shoes and I'm sure people gonna be like dang you showing us these shoes and they all toe up like yeah I've worn most of those shoes in the last um, pay less haul but I haven't done the try on portion of it because I haven't had time to just sit down and do it but anyways this is the pink version because I love the black ones so much they're like jellies the black ones are not as transparent they just look completely black and this matches this on the black one but as you can see this is a different color than the jelly part and you know it's whatever but they were three dollars so I was like I guess I like the black ones and there was no more black ones so I had to just get the pink one I got them in a size 12 originally they're $16.99 but I got these for three dollars I feel like these will be really cute in the summertime so I'll just keep those until then if you're on my snapchat you've already seen these shoes because I've already worn them they're by brash they're light blue this baby blue color I got the white versions in the last haul and I've worn those ones to the ground too okay and I've already started wearing these ones to the ground as you can see <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me anyways it was only six dollars I don't think the white ones in the other haul were six dollars I want to say they're more expensive I got these for six and I'm lit I'm happy I've been wearing the hell out of them you can see all the scuff marks on them I don't even know how to take care of my shoes like tennis shoes especially I am a mess in tennis shoes I'll be jumping over things I'll be climbing walls like I'm, I'm just a hot mess whenever I'm wearing sneaks if I have on heels or something I'm a lot more like dainty and petite but when I got on sneakers I'm like it's time to play <laughs> I'm such a child I got these in a size 12 I don't know the original price because I've already worn them, so I took the tag off. I wore them to death already, okay? I like these. They comfortable. They comfortable. They have like um, these little breather holes in it, but the holes don't go through the shoe, so I don't know. I think that's just for design. And the last pair of shoes I got are just these little cute white sandals, and they're just regular gladiator sandals. They were $6. I got them in a size 12. And originally, where's the original price? I haven't worn these yet. But the original price is gone. I don't know how much they were originally. I want to say probably like 20 bucks. Super cute little white sandals. These will be perfect when summer hits. And I'm about to be rocking the heck out of these. Also by Brash. 
So they went in. I went in. That's the last pair of shoes that I got from Payless this time. Let me know down below which pair of shoes were your favorite. And also let me know if you guys like these type of hauls so that way I can start showing you guys more shoes that I get. I didn't know that there were so many people with big feet. So I've never really done like videos on big feet. But then now that I've been like actually doing clothing hauls where I try on the shoes and like, with my outfits, like people are like, where you get your shoes from? Cause I got big feet too. And I'm like, oh work? Okay, I'm finna show y'all then. So that's the reason why I'm showing you guys, especially since Payless was having those crazy ass sales at the end of the year. And also, I really want, I don't know why they were getting rid of shoes the way they were, but I hope they're not going out of business. So I'm gonna need y'all to go over there and just start buying shit so that way they know that we care about them because I feel like we kind of fell off a little bit and you know, we just don't got that relationship no more. Pero, you know, we gonna build it back up and they gonna hit me up. As a matter of fact, Take the link of this video and tweet it to them on Twitter. If you got a Twitter account, just take the link of this video, hit share, copy link, send it to um, on Twitter, just send it to them so that they know, hey y'all, y'all gonna have to pay me to do another haul for y'all. Every time y'all got new releases, just send them to me and I got you. Every two months or something, you know what I'm saying? Let me show them how these things fit. Because people want to know how things fit. They want to know how things look, you know? They want to know how they can style it. And that's what I'm here for. Pay less. So send them this video so they know what's up. My email is in the description box. You feel me? Okay, you guys. Anyway, <laughs> go out and do wonderful things in the world. Make sure no drama comes from anybody but me. Okay? Because I'm your baby mama. All the links to contact me and my social medias are down below. Now give me a kiss. I love you guys. Have a great day. Give me style, dog. Give me grace. Dog with a smile on my face. Dog with a smile on my face. Dog give me style. Dog give me style. Dog give me grace. Dog with a smile on my face. Dog with a smile on my face. Dog make me shine like the sun. Dog make me shine like the sun. Sometimes I feel like I'm the one. Sometimes I feel like it ain't my fault.